Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Ana Maria, how are you? Very good, thank you. And you? Great. Much better. Um, I think that I already recovered my, my voice, my normal voice. <clears throat> yeah, it, it feels better now. What about you, Isaac? Roberto, and we have Milena here too. How's everything going? Hello, hello, Isaac. Hello, good, good. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Isaac? Fine, a lot of work. A lot of work. But we are in the middle of the week, so we almost finished, almost finished this week, so you can rest a little bit on the weekend. But yeah. Milena, can you hear me? Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. How's it going? Bad too. Bad? I, I was kitchen, cooking. I was oh, cooking. Uh -huh, uh -huh. you were cooking. But I, I finished. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay, so welcome to the session number seven. Uh, today we are going to be practicing a little bit of the topics that we have been discussing plus a, a couple of new ones using this and this singular and plural so um it's going to be really interesting and you're going to have different opportunities to practice speaking so let's begin julian welcome glenda it's good to have you here Julian, teacher. how's it going? Everything's okay? It's okay. Okay, excellent. Karen Heyman, welcome. Now we have Karen and Miguel too. So as you, hello, good evening. Welcome. As you remember, yesterday we finished the class with a little quiz about the use of in, at, and on, okay? The three propositions are a little similar, but they have different uses, okay? So um, something that you have to remember, for example, is that when we are using the vocabulary, morning, afternoon, evening, we say in in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. When we talk about a specific time, a specific hour, we say at. The class is at eight o'clock. We finish the class at nine o'clock. Uh, the movie uh, starts at 9.30 p.m. I get up at six in the morning. I go to sleep at 11 p.m. So we use at for specific time, specific hour. When it's not specific, we can say around, around. So for example, I if I ask you the question, right? What time do you normally get up? in the morning, but you don't get up at the same time every day. So some days maybe you get up at, or you wake up at five, some days you wake up at 5.30, some days you wake up at six. So in that case, when you don't have a specific time, you can say around, okay? Um, let you say, um, let's have a meeting. 
at what time? Mm, I don't know, around 7 p.m. It's okay. So around. When we are talking about days, days of the week, we say on. So the class is on Monday, for example. We, the last class is on Thursday. We start work on Monday. Uh, we have a party on Tuesday. So we use that preposition on for days of the week. For expressions like weekdays, weeknights, weekends, we say on too. On weekdays, on weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends. So what do you do on the weekend? What do you normally do on the weekend? And you can say, I go to the church, I go shopping, I visit my family on the weekend. Okay. Um, before or after, you know the meaning of the two prepositions. And the other expression is until. Okay. Until. So for example, uh, the class is, or the class goes from 8 p.m. until 9. So from this time to this time, until, okay? It's a synonym of two. Uh, so let's check. Basically, that's it. Early, it's in the morning, right? Early, late, it's, for example, at night. So I wake up early. I finish work late. So it depends on the time, right? It's not necessarily at night. So um, if I tell you I finish work at 6 p.m., oh, that's late. If you tell me I finish work at 3 p.m., oh, that's early, okay? Because in El Salvador, if you finish work at three, it's early. Five is normal. Six or seven is late, okay? um now let's go on we finish the exercise letter a and we are going to take turns um answering the questions in exercise c for example uh, what days do you get up late i'm going to ask the question to dinora what days do you get up late Dinora can you hear me uh, I think hola, hola. hello hola, hola. Este, ver. what eh, days me acabo de do you what days do you get up late ¿Qué día se, le, se levanta tarde eh. Ninguno, pero este Saturday. Saturday, okay. On Saturday. Sí. On Saturday. Okay, let's sí. see. Eh, Julian, what days do you get up early? What days do you get up early? I get up Sunday. I get up early. I get up early Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, me I get me up early on Sunday. Me levanto temprano el domingo. Yes? I, I, get, I get up late on Sunday. Late on Sunday. Okay. Okay. And the rest of the week, you get up early. I get up early. Ah, okay. Uh, At what time do you get up? Perdón? What, ti what time do you get up? At what time do you get up? Normally. At five, six. <clears throat> at, at, at six. Six in the morning. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Thank you, uh, Julian. We continue with the next question. Uh, Rodrigo, what are two things you do before eight in the morning? What are two things you do before eight in the morning? Before eight. Before eight in the morning, I usually mm, brush my teeth uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, and turn on my computer in my work. Okay. 
So you brush your teeth and you turn on your computer. Uh, yeah, okay. because in this in these days I work in, in my house. Ah, you work from home. I work for, from home, yeah. Oh, got but it. I, I turn on my computer and let's time to work. <laughs> got it. Excellent. Thank you. Now we continue with Gabriela Alejandra. Uh, what are three things you do on Saturday mornings? What are three things you do on Saturday mornings? Limpieza. ¿Cómo se dice limpieza? I do the cleaning. I do the cleaning. Mm -hmm. I do washing clothes. I do the laundry. Uh -huh. I, I do the laundry. Okay. I, and what else? Um, study. Study. And you study. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Gabriela. So you do okay. three those three things on Saturday mornings. Okay. One more question we have here. And that question will be for Miguel. What do you do only on Sundays? What do you do only on Sundays? Um, what do you do only? Um, uh, significa que, que es lo que algo que hace que, solamente que los solo, domingos, solo, solo los domingos. Ajá, ajá, uh, um, in the church, you go to church, yes. Okay, I go to church. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent, Miguel. Thank you. Um, let's see. The next exercise or the next page is the reading that I told you yesterday, right? Why do you need a job? You are going to scan the profiles quickly and tell me who is in high school, Teresa, Karen, or Lamar? That is the first question. Who is in high school? Mm -hmm. Scanning quickly, just looking for specific information. Who is in high school? Lamar Andrews. Is Lamar in Andrews, that's correct. Yes. yes. Um, who is yeah. in, he, he's 16 years old, right? Who is in college? Who is in college, Karen or Teresa? Teresa, that's correct. <laughs> Who is a new parent? Karen. Karen, right? She has a new baby. Correct. So uh, these people need jobs. The three people need jobs. So you yeah. are going to read about their schedules, experience, and why they need a job. Okay? You read about that, and then you are going to answer some questions. And the questions are here, okay? The question number one is to save money. Who needs to save money? Number two, who needs to earn money for college? Three, who needs to go out on the weekend? And number four, who needs to buy a house? So please, in this moment, I am going to give you six minutes maximum so that you can read and... Okay. Find the answer. Find the answer for these questions. Okay. So take a moment to read. If you want to answer in your notebook, it's okay. It's excellent. You can take notes. Okay. okay. So the idea is that you identify and you put a check. But in this case, you can write the number and the name of the, of the person, right? Okay, read and then you select the correct answer for the four questions. Okay.
Okay, I finished. All right. So show me a reaction. Show me a reaction if you already finished. You can be thumbs up. It can be, uh, I don't know, uh, claps probably, or you can look for another emoji in the chat. It can be a, a wink, like I already did it, or any other reaction. Okay, so we have three, four reactions. Excellent. Victoria finished, Miguel finished. Okay. Veronica, Roberto, very good. Excellent. So Glenda too. Now we're going to check. Number one, who needs to save money? Karen. Karen. Karen, Karen. Karen Thomas. Okay. Karen Thomas needs to save money. No, yeah. that's correct. Number two, who needs to earn money for college? Teresa. That's correct. Yeah. Number three, who needs to go out on the weekend? Lamar. 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 Okay. Lamar. Me too. Okay. <laughs> then the next question, who needs to buy a house? Or who, who wants, right? Who wants to buy a house? In this case, it's Karen, okay? Karen and her husband want to buy a house. Okay, that's correct. So uh, those are the answers for the reading. Now we are going to continue with the next exercise. I am going to write in the chat one website that I recommend you for practicing reading. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, it's read.org. Read so in that website, you can track your progress. It is really good. It is really good. And it's for free. So I recommend you that website, readtheory.org. Now we continue with the next exercise. We have little role plays and questions. So here you are going to practice a lot of speaking. Okay. Um, the, number, the letter A is really easy, number one, right? Just introducing yourself, like, hi, how are you? And my name is, um, what's her name? Um, instead of, um, are you a student here? You can ask the question, uh, what do you do, right? And then person can tell you, oh, I am a lawyer. I'm an, an accountant. Uh, I am a whatever occupation you have, right? And then, and how about you, right? So you can have, oh, really? And where are you from? I'm from Zacatecoluca. What about you? I'm from uh, Lolotique in Sami, all right? So that is a short conversation. When you finish that conversation, you continue to the number two. Number two, we have an interview. So you are going to write the questions for the answers. So it's the opposite. Normally you have to, you have the question and you have to write the answer. In this case, you have the answer, but you have to write the question. So for example, my name is Keiko Kawakami. Okay, what is the question for that answer? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, what's your name, right? What's your name? So my name is Keiko Kawakami. So that's what you're going to do. You are going to discuss with your partner what is the correct question. And that's it. Okay. Simple as that. Um, let me check. Just that. If you want to ask questions to your classmates about him, I mean, about him or her, it's okay. For example, uh, let's suppose the question is number four. My favorite class is English. The question would be, what's your favorite class or what's your favorite subject? Um, so you can ask that question and somebody can tell you, well, my favorite class is uh, mathematics. Okay. Or my favorite class is history. So, or physical education, uh, your best friend, who's your best friend? So you can 
ask and answer those questions with personal information. That is optional, if you have time, okay? So right now you are going to have exactly three minutes for the introductions, exercise number one, and you're going to have five minutes for the exercise number two, the interview. So in total, you have eight minutes. You're going to practice a lot of speaking and you are going to be in pairs, in pairs with another classmate. So there is going to be, let me check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, perfect. Let me check. Yes, we are ready. Your eight minutes begin from the moment that everybody is in the breakout rooms. So do you have a, well, take a screenshot, please take a screenshot. Just in case you need the screenshot later. Take a screenshot of the two exercises for speaking. And then we start in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, everybody's going to the breaker rooms. We're good. So we're missing just Julian and Jancy. I said the invitation, please. Julian, can you hear me? I said the invitation to go to the breakout room. Hello, Julian. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, Jancy, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so we are you are going to practice with me. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, first of all, we are going to do the exercise number one, that is the role plays. And we are going to imagine that we are that we don't know each other, right? So I, okay. I will start, for example, like hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, by the way, my name is Freddy, Freddy Marcus. I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's Freddy, Freddy, F-R-E-D-Y. I'm, I am Jancy, Freddy. Mm -hmm. Are you a student here? Um, no, I'm a teacher. I'm the teacher. And how about you? Are you still here? I am a student. Yes, you're a student? Okay. Uh, oh, really? And where are you from? I'm from San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from San Miguel. Okay. Yes, it's very nice cool. to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Yancy. Now we are going to switch, switch the role. So you start the conversation and I continue. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. What about you? By the way, my name is Yancy. Ah, okay. Um, sorry. Um, what's your name again? My name is Jancy. Jancy. What's your name? Ah, yes. my, my name is Freddy. Um, I'm a student. Are you a student here? Yes, I I'm I student. Okay. Um, 
How and about how you? about you? Well, I am studying English. Okay, I'm studying English. Oh, really? Yes. And where are you from? I'm from San Miguel. What about you? I'm from San Salvador. From San Salvador. Okay, excellent. Now we are going to continue with the interview. So for the interview, we are going to complete the questions, okay? So for example, number one says, my name is Keiko Kawakami. What is the question for that answer? What's your name? What's your name? Excellent. So what about number two? I'm from Osaka, Japan. What do you think is the, is the question? Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I think it's correct. Number two. Number two. What is your favorite Where class? Where are you from? Okay, number three. Mm, number three says, yes, my classes are very interesting. Yes, my classes are very interesting. Uh, no, three, mm -hmm, number three. What do you think is the question? Um, yes, my classes are very interesting. How, how, I think it's a yes, no question. It's a yes, no question. Okay. So maybe is. Is your class? It's singular or plural? Let me check. Yes, my classes. It's uh, plural. It's, it's plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So. Are you. Are your. Classes. Classes. English. Interesting. Interesting, yes. Interesting. Okay. So that can be a possible question or it can also be, uh, do you like your classes, for example? And you say, yes, my classes are very interesting. It's another possibility, okay. right? Okay, number four. My favorite class is English. What is your favorite class? Excellent. What's your favorite class? What's your favorite class? What's your favorite class? Yes. Number five. No, my teacher is an American. Um. Seria is mm -hmm. is your teacher is is your teacher is in Asia American is your teacher American no my teacher uh, no, is an American yes. Uh -huh. yes excellent number six my classes are very nice. Food. Um, seria, who doesn't? No, who does? My glasses are very nice. So in this case, Como in, ser? Ajá, mis glasses son muy. Bonitas, muy buenas. They're very nice. ¿Cómo son tus clases? Sería. Ah, uh -huh. that can be a question, correct. Who are? How are your classes? That's an How option. Are... Yeah, that's an option. Another possible option is what are your classes? What are your classes like? Okay. What are your classes like? 
And you say, like, my classes are very nice. So what like is for description, is for description, what like. So for example, if you tell me, uh, I, I, let's suppose that it's, I love my city. You say, I, I love my city. And I ask you, what is your city like? So you start okay. making a description about your city. So this would be a, a, good, a good option here. And the number seven, my best friend is Maria. What is the question? Here? Who, is, who is your best friend? Yes, excellent. That's correct. Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? Okay, my best friend is Maria. And that's it. So I think that probably your classmates already finished. So I'm going to call them back here. Um, and if they didn't finish, we're going to check in the class. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Nice working <laughs> with you. Now, thank you. Gladys, are you there? I think she's having some connection problems. She's coming and going. Sí, estoy teniendo problemas. Ajá, uh, I imagine that. I sí, imagine ya that. dos días que no me podía meter, teacher. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. But are you watching the classes, the videos, or? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, perfect. And don't forget to work on the platform, right? Now let me check, everybody's here. No, no yet, they are coming back. All right, we have 10 participants. Where are the rest? They are coming, they're coming. Okay, we have 11 now. They are finishing the questions. Okay. And here we are. Okay, excellent. So now we are 21. So with me, that would be 22. Quickly, we are going to check the exercise number two, the speaking interview, right? So what is the question number two? One volunteer, please. Where are you from? Answer. Where are you from? Ex excellent, that is the question. Uh, Rodrigo, what is the answer? The answer is in the number two is, I'm from Osaka, Japan. I'm from Osaka, Japan. Excellent. Volunteer for question number two, please. Let me check. One volunteer for question number three. Where are you from? Where are, okay, where oh. are you? Oh, that's a question number two, right? Where are you from? Number three, Sonia, what do you have for number three? Uh, um, eh, no sé si estoy... En lo correcto, teacher, is if your class were interesting? Hi. It's a possible question, yes. Is your class very interesting? However, in this case, if you see the answer, it says, yes, my classes are. So it's plural. So the question can be plural. For example, are, are your classes, classes interesting? interesting? Uh -huh. are, are your classes you? interesting? Are you? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a possible answer. And then we continue with the number four. One volunteer for number four, please. What's Karen. your favorite classes? What's your favorite class? Uh-huh. And the answer is going to be Teresa. Thank you. Okay, my favorite class is English. My favorite class is English, correct. Number five. Somebody, somebody for number five. Are you teacher, 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 teacher America? Teacher America? Is okay. your teacher America? Prefiero que hayan varios voluntarios y no que no haya. So, is your teacher American? The answer is no. 
my teacher isn't American. Okay. Sí, soy americano porque soy del continente, pero American en inglés lo manejamos como eh, para, los, para los de Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Ok, en ese caso no aplicaría. Um, so, number six. Number six. Soveida, please. How are your classmates? How are your classmates? Okay, my classmates are very nice. Okay, it's a possible question. The other possible question here is, what are your classmates? Mm. I got confused with Jancy. I said classes, but it's classmates. What are your classmates like? That's another possible question. Remember that for descriptions, we can use what like, okay? What are your class, classmates like? They're, my classmates are very nice. Okay, excellent. And the last one, number seven. Let me see. What is your best friend? The name of your best friend. Elena said, what's your best friend? And what's, Rodrigo said, what is your? What's, who is your best friend? Ah, who is your best friend? It's a possible question. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Maria. Or you can what? ask the question, what's your best friend's name? What's your best friend's name? That is more what? complex, right? That is more complex. I am going to move this question here. Wait, give me a second. Okay. What's, what's your best friend's apostrophe s yes, best friend's name okay that's a more specific question like what's your best friend um what's your best friend's name right okay and the other possible question is who is your best friend but if you ask who is your best friend you can say my best friend is my mother okay so you don't get a specific name but if you ask the second option what's your best friend's name then you're going to receive that information my best friend is Maria. Okay, so great job, great job. So you did everything well. Um, and now it's time to move on to the next exercise. As I told you today, we're going to be doing different exercises to practice speaking. So we have a survey. I love surveys because it's like being a detective, right? So you ask questions, you get information, you copy, you make conclusions. Now, we have five questions. Listen and repeat. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Question number one. Number two, what do you do after you get up? What do you do after you get up? What do you do after you get up? Second question. Number three. Where do you go? Where do you go? Okay, where do you, do you, you can make a link sound there, do you, where do you go? And then number four, what do you do in the evening? What do you do in the evening? Normally we can say evening after 5 p.m., right? What do you do in the evening? That would be after work. What do you do after work? Um, for the people who work uh, normal schedule, right? Um, for people who study, right? Uh, and then number five, when do you go to bed? 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 So you have five questions. When do you go to bed? It's about the time, okay? Now, let's just practice. Let's just practice. Um, I'm going to check if we have enough students to practice in pairs, yes. Okay, so um, let's suppose that you're asking me one of the questions, okay? Ask me one question from the list. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? I normally get up at six, six o'clock in the morning. Where do you go? What do you in? What do you in evening? Okay, where do you go? I go to work. 
Uh, what do I do in the evening? Mm, I usually come back home and uh, check my, I mean, change my clothes and get ready for the next class, for my second job, <laughs> that is to be with you. Uh, so I, no, I normally do that from Monday through Thursday, right? And then on Friday, I just take a nap and then I watch some series. I check my email, my social networks. That's what I do on Friday evening, okay? Um, and go to bed. I normally go to bed at 11 p.m. So I'm like Batman somehow. Okay, but that's a secret. Don't tell people that I'm Batman. Okay, so we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Please take a screenshot of the questions. Okay, take a screenshot of the questions. And you are going to practice asking and answering the, the five questions. Okay, if you have time, you can continue with the exercise B. Talk about your perfect day, okay? You can ask any question about your perfect day, okay? Um, so that's what we're going to do. Do you have questions? No, I'm clear. Everything's Nothing. clear? Okay, excellent. We are really, really good students. Now I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. Let me check. I think that there is going to be one, one breakout room with, uh, with three people, but don't worry, it's okay. Um, so here we go, three, two, one, see you later. You have exactly five minutes for this activity. Okay. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, accept the invitation to go to the breakout room. Excellent. Okay, let me check. Okay, Dinora and Elias, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Elias, Dinora, are you there? Hello. Hi, Dinora. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you can use the microphone and that you can hear me. So I am going to bring... Let me check. This is the breakout room number eight. I'm going to check. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened with Elias, but I will check if Kevin can use the microphone and bring him here. Okay, Kevin Hernandez, are you there? Kevin? Hola. Hello. Okay. So you are going to be practicing the questions with Dinora. Dinora, do you have the screenshot? Or Kevin, do you have the screenshot of the questions? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Questions. Okay, so you can start asking the questions now. In one moment. Okay, perfect. When did you go to the bed? Hmm. 
When do you go to bed? Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo es la pregunta, teacher? When do you go to bed is the time. Para la time cama, that you go como, to sleep. A la hora que nos uh -huh. vamos a dormir. Ah, yeah, okay. that's correct. I go to the bed in at 10 at 10 o'clock. Okay. Okay. I and normal days I go to the bed at 11. At 11. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That is very late. Okay. Yes. Okay, so as an extra idea, I you can ask questions about the weekend. For example, because this is normally during the week, but on the weekend, do you go to bed at the same time? Do you go do you wake up, do you get up at the same time? What do you do in the evening on the weekend? So that can help you to ask more questions. Okay. 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 <coughs> Hello. 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 Did you finish? Y una nos falta, teacher. Okay, no problem. You have time, don't worry. Okay. See you in a moment. Watch the series or TV or watch TV and, and listening the music and sleep. Okay. When when do you finish? Let's <laughs> I go uh, I go to bed alrededor around around very good around around okay. yes um. y de ahí solo se dice la hora around 10 around 10 around 10 uh -huh. around, around 10 around 11 uh -huh. 11 Mm -hmm. So it's an it's an approximate time. It's not exact time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Por eso, what do you do in the evening? I decir, I go to the house. I go home. Uh -huh. I, I go eat home. dinner. I cook. Uh -huh. Okay. I watch TV. Yeah. Okay. If you want to practice more, remember that you have the perfect day or you can ask questions about this, about this, but on the weekend, because you know that on the weekend is a little different, right? You do okay. different things. Uh -huh. So you have one more minute. You. Hello, did you finish? Hello. Yes. Yeah. You okay. You already finished. We talk about our life. Yes. Really? No puede ser que las haya asustado. Okay. I'm going to cover my face next time. Thank you. Okay. So you finished. Excellent. Yes. We already finished. No doubts. No questions. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Gabby oh. knows all about me. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a lot of information to process. I okay. like to I like to practice with Victoria. <laughs> ah, excellent. So you found your English partner. That's good. Yes. You can continue me chatting. Me too, Gabby. Me too. Chatting. What's up? Uh -huh. Excellent. Yeah. See you in a moment. Okay, all right. Nice to see you, Elena. Hello. Se esconde la mayoría, pero hay algunos que no. Okay, so I see Rodrigo, I see Julian, and I see Elena on the camera. Today we're going to take a picture, okay? If Because we have a lot of students, so I think it's possible to take a picture today. Okay. Um, if it's not possible to turn on the camera for you today, you do it tomorrow. That's not a problem. Now we're going to continue as soon as everybody else comes back. Did you finish the five questions? Do you have yeah. enough time to practice? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So it's time to move on. Um, 
Don't forget, this is a, a piece of extra information that the doctors recommend that we sleep minimum seven hours, maximum eight, okay, or nine hours. So it is good that you try to sleep enough to have more energy, to have more attention, to pay more attention, um, to have a better memory is also good, and to feel good, okay? Not to be angry. So, uh, and not to get sick because we can get sick if we don't sleep enough. Plus, yes. we can kill some neurons. Algunas neuronas se pueden morir también si no dormimos suficiente. So, some tips by Dr. Freddy. Let's continue. Uh, yeah. So the, don't drink coffee at night. Okay. It's not good if you want to sleep. Okay. The, the next question or the next topic, let's say, is how much is it? How much is it? So I need your coffee. Yeah. Coffee in the morning. In the morning is very important or in the afternoon, right? With, with bread, sweet bread, right? With a samita. But at night, it's not recommended. It's not recommended. Unless, unless, a menos que, unless you work at a call center or you are a security guard or you are Batman, right? So or you're a police officer. So in those cases, it's, yeah, it's necessary to drink coffee at night. Okay, unless, unless, that is the, the, the word. If you want to say a menos que, right? Unless. Now let's continue. Uh, what's your favorite color? Can you please write your favorite color in the chat? Okay, so we have an idea about what color you like. In my case, my two favorite colors are green and blue. Okay, because they are full of life. They are related to the nature, to the planet. So I like that. For that reason, those are my two favorite colors. Okay, because I connect them to life and nature. Mm -hmm the plants, the animals, the, the water, right? So let's continue. Um, so the meaning of colors in the United States, okay? In the United States, this is a little survey that they made. Uh, HP, HP, the company, they made a little um, survey with some people about the meaning of the color. So for these people that were interviewed, right? Para las personas que fueron entrevistadas, green, equals jealous yellow equals happy orange fun red is exciting pink is loving uh purple is mysterious brown friendly black is sad gray is boring uh boring white is pure and blue is trustful no se les digo muy bien pero es que da confianza, trustful. Okay, so um, let's check this out. Okay, let's go with the chat. Let's see in the chat. Okay, Gabriela, green and blue, like me. Uh, Roberto, blue, Elias, blue, black and green. Milena, green, Teresa, black, Yancy, blue. Isaac Gray, Glenda Purple, Gladys Green, Rodrigo Green, Victoria Green, and we say blue and red for Elena. Kevin says orange, Soveda Purple, white and blue for Ana Maria, and Miguel says blue. Okay, excellent. So we have some similars and baby blue too. Okay, baby blue. Um, or it can be light blue, right? Baby blue or light blue. Now, um, which words have a positive meaning? Which words have a positive meaning? <laughs> Tell me, which words have a positive meaning? Yellow. No, happy. words, words. Happy. Oh, ah, know. okay. Happy. Fun, fun. uh-huh. Exciting, loving. Exciting, yes. Loving. Mm -hmm. Friendly. Nice. Friendly. Pure. Friendly. Pure. Ah. Pure, yes. Pure. Um, Pure. Jealous is not good, right? 
Trustful. trustful is good. Trustful is good. Boring is not good. Sad it's is good. not good. Mysterious. No. Mm, not good. No. It's neutral, right? Neutral. neutral. Okay. It's, it's in the neutral. middle. 50-50. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, we're going to move on to the next part. This is just a little introduction, right? We are going to have a little conversation. So the conversation is, they're perfect for you. So um, Steve and Maria, Steve and Maria, okay? Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. So, oh. gentlemen, that is a strategy. Okay. Caballeros, es una estrategia. You can go shopping. Do you like them? Yes. So, happy birthday. Happy anniversary. That's for you. Okay. Por si les puedes elegir, pueden ir de compras con ella y le dicen que es el regalo. Okay, el que escoja. So, um, and she's happy, you're happy, everybody's happy. So, what would be? Okay. It's a good idea. So, those are some uh, recommendations by Dr. Hart. Okay, so <laughs> now we continue with the conversation. You are going to practice with, in the breakout rooms quickly, okay, with your partner. So, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms one more time. In this case, I'm going to recreate the breaker rooms so that there are 10, 11 breaker rooms. Okay, so one, two, three. Yeah, it's complete. So I just need to move Margarita. Yeah, to room number two. And that's it, I think. Let me check. Sonia, Karen, Elias. Okay, room number three. Ready, set, well, take a screenshot just in case you don't, you didn't take it. Okay, <laughs> three, two, one. You have just two minutes maximum to practice this. Beginning now. Okay, I set the imitation. This is the last practice for today's class. Okay. Gabriela, are you there? Hello, hello. Okay, so Gabriela is here, but. Sí, yo creo que puedo compartir ahorita. Roberto, are you there? Roberto, are you there? Hello? Ahí se puede ver, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Eh, okay, eh, so sí. you're there. Gabby, hello. Sorry, you were alone. I think that your partner had a problem. <laughs> but here we are. So I'm Steve. I start the conversation and then you continue, right? Oh, look okay. at those earrings, um, Gabriela. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's... $42. That's expensive. That's expensive. You need to use the exclamation, right? That's expensive. Está caro. That's Está expensive. Carísimo. Yes. Um, hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, so <laughs> okay. we switch. Now you start the conversation. Oh, look at this airy, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. 
No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is not bad. Which one? That blue one right there, how much it is. How much is it? How um, much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Okay, so we go okay. back to the session. Nice okay. practicing with you. Okay. Bye bye. Algunas palabritas se veían un poco borrosas. Yes, that happens. That's true. Okay, so we're back. I think the majority of you are here. Yes, we are 18. So uh, quickly, because of time, I don't want to take too much of your time. So we're going to be taking the picture tomorrow. Um, so please don't forget, tomorrow we're taking the group picture for the week number two. So you can put on your favorite blouse, your favorite shirt. You can go to the beauty salon. No, just kidding. Okay, no tienen que ir al salón de ellas. Solamente remember that you have to turn on your camera tomorrow. Okay, so um, do you have any questions or comments? I am going to send you a picture of uh, to the WhatsApp group so that you can study the topic for tomorrow, okay? That is the use of demonstratives. This, this, those, and these. So the singular, plural, close, far, distant, right? Um, so that's what we are going to be doing tomorrow. So you can advance a little bit. I will send you the picture so you can see it clearly in your cell phone. So that will be all for tonight. Thank you so much for connecting, for continuing practicing. That is really, really important. And I hope that this was also a good class for you and you learned something new. So uh, take good care of yourself. I will see you tomorrow. Um, have a good night. Don't go to bed late. Please sleep, rest. That is necessary, it's important for you. Okay, happy night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you, Elena.